Texas Tech heads to Stillwater to take on Oklahoma State. And the Cowboys are a nine-point favorite, of course, latest line at BetUS. Uh, it's 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time on FS1. I'm interested. I'm very interested because any game where Donovan Smith is a quarterback, uh, yeah, I, I think it could be tricky, right? This is the fifth game against a top 25 team that Texas Tech has already played this season. That's a lot. Uh, now, you can look at it and be like, all right, well, they can't have anything left in the tank. Or you can say, well, they're really battle-tested. So, going to Stillwater isn't going to do anything to them. I guess I could understand that. Um, Texas Tech is 5-1 and one against the spread against Oklahoma State in their last six. Um, along with that, let's see, Texas Tech 7-1 and one against the spread following a spread loss. So, the last eight times they have not covered, they followed it up uh, with a win in seven of those. Um Along with that, Oklahoma State 10-1-1 against the spread their last 12 against the Big 12. They had a big win against Baylor last week. Defense did some interesting things, but when I look at this team, I still got questions. Uh, A lot of that, like they had a kick return for a touchdown. Like obviously this means that they got playmakers. Mike Gundy is definitely letting it fly on offense again, where he had definitely calmed that down quite a bit over the past couple of years when he had uh, Knowles as the defense coordinator. Uh, Derek Mason is the defense coordinator now. Um, and the defense is is good. I mean, number fifty four in defensive PPA per drive. Uh, but there's there's still questions here. I mean, there's still things that uh, that you should look at. My number has this at Oklahoma State by eh, almost eight, seven point seven six. Uh, the line is at nine. It opened at ten. It's come down a little bit. Uh, both of these teams play fast. A lot of plays per game. The uh, the total on this one sits at sixty eight and a half. I think it's going to get pointsy. I think it's going to be a little crazy. Like, Donovan Smith is the most high-variance player in the country, but I think that Spencer Sanders over his career has been just as high-variance. If you get a good Spencer Sanders, which is what we've gotten for the majority of this season, then you should be fine, and your offense is going to be explosive, etc. If you don't, you're going to be turning the ball over in your own territory, all kinds of things that would really make Joey McGuire happy. I will say that. So, I look at this... I think there's a chance this could be a pretty tight game. If I'm getting near double digits, yeah, I'm going to take the Red Raiders. I'll take Texas Tech plus nine here. Seems like the better play, the better uh, chance of happening is them keeping this within a touchdown. I like it. I absolutely like it. I mean, they lost by, what, nine last week? Uh, Yeah, I could see them losing by nine here. I could see them losing by a touchdown. So that's what I'm thinking. I think uh, Texas Tech plus the nine is the way that I'm going to go on this. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.